Okay guys, um, I haven't had a video in a while. One reason right now my camera's working a little funky. It's saying I have room on the space and then I start and it's not. So, um, I know I'm pretty dirty. Gosh, my last video was uh, the last day of summer and I'm about to upload that today. Uh, I had to uh, find my camera. It fell on the floor and I didn't see it. I'm sure you guys have been wondering what I'm up to. Well, let's take a walk into the garage. It's a little late. It's like 10.30. I'm taking this video. I'm going to upload it later on tonight, probably about 11. Um, God, there's the blown motor. Got a little more done, too. You can't really see cause the lights out. Um, my other tractor. God, it's really dark. What the hell? There's light in here. All right here. I got the head off and everything. I got a new gasket for it sitting up there. Um, cleaned up my garage, it's a mess again. This thing doesn't want to run, the plugs foul it out. You can pull it forever and it won't start. We pulled it for like an hour the other day. Um, gosh. Let's take a walk out front real quick because I built a new bike. Because I got sick of that bike. It's a GT bump. This frame I bought off of eBay for a dollar got this frame for a dollar but I put this all together new parts from Shay's bikes and most I had sitting around um, well the real main topic of this was my tractor I'm building a, a whole nother tractor I'm sure you guys uh, remember well no I don't have any videos of it well this thing had an 11 horse on it with an electric start well the wire got all messed up and one day I just ripped it all off and uh yeah Oh, I just blinked out. Blind moment again. Um, well, I tried pull starting it for a while. It worked for a little bit, and then it just kept breaking all my ropes. So I found I had an old five horse. I'm sure that's been in my videos in the background. Uh, Craftsman motor, and I took that and I plopped it on here because the frame is rotted out. So I put that on here. Fits nicely, got a gas line running, got my ghetto primer, got everything hooked up, kill switch. It's not done because I need a bigger belt because this belt is engaged all the time. You know what, let me tighten this up a little bit because this rattles and I'm going to start it because it runs perfect. I really couldn't ask for it to run any better. Like, it's amazing. Like, alright. I got this kill switch hooked up. It's just wire running down and then right here where the spring is be take out the spring there's gonna be this little clip right here there'll be a wire attached to it that's gonna be your positive wire and then I just grounded it out just put a little screw through grounds it out there you go got a kill switch uh, let me find my screwdriver got this old screwdriver works as a key stick it in any ignition for tractor and there you go I'm gonna start this I got it set for low oil because it's at night and I don't want to piss my neighbors off. But here we go. Probably went a few times. Haven't been running it, I've been working on it a while. So, uh. Alright. There's a fuel bubble. Damn, she hasn't given me this trouble. You guys probably can't see the motor. I'll give it a little gas and pull. The idle set too low. Take this. Turn up the butter screw a little bit. Butterfly screw. There we go. That's how an engine should run. I just turned this up. I have it set too low because uh, it's at night. See, I'll try and turn it a little bit. Alright, I'm running out of space, guys. So, I'm going to turn this off. All right, I got all the stuff here. It's a, this one's a 91, and my, my other one before, I think I said the motor was a 94. It's actually a 74, my mistake. This frame's going to be getting a facelift. I power wash just the top front of the frame. Looks great. I'm running a peerless transmission. Sears LT3611. 11. 11 was an 11-horse motor, 36, 36-inch 36 deck. Um, like I said, I need a bigger belt because it's engaged. And that lever don't work, so I just put it in gear and it drives. I've been riding it for a while today. You know, it's been put away for a while because I'm working on it. 
But, uh, yeah, it's time for me to go in and take a shower. I might talk to uh, Oscar tonight on AIM. Uh, my AIM is TM Vanek, T M V A N E K 95 N 5. Just add me, you know, talk to you whenever. That's AIM for AOL Instant Messenger. It's time for me to go in. You guys should probably get some sleep if you guys are watching this tonight, unless you live in a different area code. But other than that, Clones and Briggs is going night. Shutting the lights off, locking the doors. Well, have a good night, guys. See ya.